Now, interestingly, the noble class and the families within it changed in Tudor times. Debrett's peerage notes that the Tudors executed, imprisoned or suppressed almost every nobleman who had any Plantagenet blood in his veins. And of course, the Tudor monarchs gave favour to those who served them loyally by granting them titles rather than these titles being inherited. Historian Roger Turvey explains that in 1500, which was of course in the reign of King Henry VII, there were 55 nobles, 500 knights, 800 esquires and 5,000 gentlemen. And that the nobility and the gentry classes made up just 1% of the English population. Why not consider joining the Tudor Society and hearing more of this talk?